I hope I'm the Canos lawyer. Review next move after Supreme Court judgment. Hello, reviewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. I like you, my court special counsel to Nam the Khan, leader of indigenous people of Biafra Ipob, has reviewed the next line of action following the Supreme Court rulings. It my court said Canos legal team will move for a bare application for the Ipob leader at the Federal High Court in Abuja. He spoke to Daily Post shortly after the Supreme Court refused to order Canos release. In his judgment delivered by Justice Emmanuel Ejim, but written by Justice Gabalawa, the Supreme Court overturned the appeal court ruling that discharged an acquitted canon of all terrorism charges on October 22. The Supreme Court heard that although the Nigerian government recklessly and unlawfully rendered canon from Kenya, such an unlawful act has not devastated any court from proceeding with trial. Justice Lawa heard that no Nigeria Law was cited in the suit seeking Kano's release on mere unlawful adoption from Kenya. The judge said, at the moment, the remedy for such action is for Kano to file a civil matter against such an act instead of removing the powers of court to continue with his trial for alleged criminal charges. The appeals court subsequently ordered Kano to defend himself in the remaining seven counts of terrorism charges against him. At the Federal High Court, reacting to the proceeding, Ejimako said he was expecting the appeals court to affirm the ruling of the appeal court. According to Ejimako, I had high hope that, based on the law of his tradition, the Supreme Court should have affirmed the discharge order made by the Court of Appeal. Yes, first, we shall proceed with peace, with appeals bare application to reinstate his bare in line with the ruling of the Supreme Court. Ejimako also expressed dissatisfaction with the ruling of the Supreme Court on Kano's extraordinary rendition from Kenya. He said, I am not satisfied with this Supreme Court, this continence of the extraordinary rendition because it does not comport with the doctrine of fair hearing. The Supreme Court justified its position on the theory that our judicial sentence has not developed to the point of recognizing extraordinary rendition as a barrier to prosecution. That is so wrong because it implies that Nigerian judicial prudence is primitive, behind the times and retrograde. And retrograde. Thank you so much for watching. My analysis. Like I have said before, Alleged Mako was right. Everybody expected at least a bear. Everybody expected in the car to be discharged. But like Massov said, this is what is called robbery overnight. Robbery in law. Supreme Court has proven that they are not qualified to answer such name. When some group of people gather together in the name of judges appointed by Chief Judge or Attorney General, whatever, the same Chief Judge that was appointed by Presidency then you know that something is going to happen that is not right. What Nigerian government do these days is use judiciary to fight the, their enemies. This is why whenever I see them rig election, they will tell you to go to court. Because they are in charge. They know what to do. Especially a man like Tinibu who is nothing but a criminal and a, a drug parole with the whole money he stole from Nigerians from the resources coming from Biafra land what we are expecting he have to do everything possible to make sure that that voice that has exposed so many criminalities atrocities, terrorism
corruption in Nigeria. You want to do everything possible to seize that voice. That is what today are doing. Namde Khan is a freedom fighter. He never big arm against anybody. Rather, those who have been killing our people are moving around freely. And when you see military speak about our people, you ask yourself one question. Is military of Nigeria really a military? Because you will never see them showcase any flying terrorists captured or killed but you see them every day make noise how they kill people in Igbo land and after they will tell you it's ESL or they tell you it's IPL member they call it proscribed this is the people that the court has unproscribed this country is run by criminals and for this reason Nothing can ever work. Like I've always said, Nandi Khan is not a Jew man. He is a brave man. A complete brave man. And he knows that things will be this hard when the time comes. He's not a coward. But we have also said that both Hebel and Nibu, a man who could not uh, carry out a common action as an eco watch chairman, whatever, but has the audacity to plan to jail a man who is a freedom fighter. And I've said this for long. All those men who have hand in the plan kidnap of Namde Khan should not be allowed to go free. They should not be allowed to be, go free, be free. Because they have caused so much chaos in our land. Today, Nigerian government really put you both the way they want. They demolish the houses, they do all sorts of things, they keep them the current custody. After law has said, let him go. Some group of people, let the responsible lawyers free him from court of appeal. And they were transferred immediately. They refused to release them. Release him. That's what you're talking about here. He was free in court of appeal. DSA refused to release him because why? Because the president called and said, keep it there. So who is deceiving who? That's exactly why I told that presidents are being the one. Corrupting the court of justice. They are using them in their pocket. And nothing can be able to work in Nigeria. Today, under new president want to use the same judicial to pin a man because he believed that he had a, a score to settle with him. Time shall tell. Let us watch and see. J. Biafra.